An aspiring singer named Sebastian is happy because he just found a music producer who likes his songs and is ready to work with him. But when Sebastian gets out of the office, his head hits a pole and realizes that he can no longer see anything. The previous day, Sebastian heads over to work with his friend Eric. While they're both arranging the clothes in the store they work at, Eric tells him about a music producer who came to the store the day before. Sebastian looks excited to hear this, and he gets even happier when Eric says that the producer liked his friend's demo, which he played. Eric then gives Sebastian the producer's number, so he can fix an appointment and hear what the man has to say about his music. Later that day, Sebastian makes a stop at a barber shop, and while he's in there, his mom, Annalie, meets him inside. After greeting each other, Sebastian tells her about the music producer he called. He sounds excited as he tells her that he might get signed to a record label soon, because the producer has agreed to meet with him. Annalie doesn't match her son's excitement, because she thinks it's another meeting that might end up with a negative outcome. However, Sebastian says he thinks this one will be different. As Annalie is about to leave, Sebastian tells her to help him tell his dad, Goran, about the producer he met. However, she insists that he tells Goran by himself. The next day at work, while Sebastian is practicing his songs, he gets a call from the music producer, who tells him to come to the record company later that day. Sebastian immediately rushes out as Eric wishes him good luck, and it doesn't take him long before he gets to the record company. After meeting with the producer, Sebastian gets a positive response, and he jumps with excitement when he goes to the restroom. As he leaves the record company, he calls Eric and informs him of the good news. He also adds that he's coming over to meet Eric and his other friends at a bar so they can celebrate. Eric asks if he has already been signed to the company, but Sebastian says that he only needs a lawyer to look at the papers before he signs them. Just as he ends the call and hurries to get a cab, Sebastian hits his head against a pole and he falls flat on the ground. As he tries to pick himself up, he realizes that he can no longer see anything while still in shock, he starts shouting for anybody around to help him. The next day, his parents take him for an evaluation at a hospital, and there, it is diagnosed that he's now blind. Sebastian is not so happy with this, and he frequently gets frustrated while at the hospital. After a series of tests, the doctor tells Sebastian and his parents that the blindness was caused by a tumor that bursts near his eyes due to the fall. He then says that while Sebastian won't be able to regain his sight naturally, there are other experimental procedures that can be used to help him. He also adds that he and his team will look for the best way to approach the surgery, but it will take some time. With this, Sebastian heads home with his parents, and after a while, Eric comes over to visit him. Even though Eric tries to cheer him up, Sebastian still looks devastated about his condition. He also adds that the music producer from the record label has informed him that the deal is over because of his eye problem. Eric feels sorry for him, and he says that Sebastian doesn't need to see before he can be a star. Following this, Eric invites Sebastian to join him for a party at the club with their other friends. Sebastian doesn't like the idea because he thinks he'll only be a burden, but Eric manages to convince him, saying he'll be there to guide his friend all through the night. When they eventually get to the club, Sebastian has too much to drink, and he also seems to enjoy being in the midst of his friends. However, as he's ready to go home, Eric offers to take him, but when they get into the crowd, they lose each other, and Sebastian struggles to locate the door on his own. He also gets pushed around until he finally reaches the door and gets thrown out by one of the guards who thinks he's drunk. Eric comes out to meet his friend on the floor and insults the people laughing at Sebastian because they think he's drunk. As he's already frustrated with the situation, Sebastian just tells Eric to take him home. Days later, Sebastian's parents hire someone named Thomas to help their son with doing things around the house. After getting to Sebastian's apartment, Thomas leaves a bad first impression when he sees Sebastian arranging his watch collection. He tells Sebastian that, since he's no longer in need of the watches because he's blind, he can help him sell them off. Sebastian doesn't get this, and he finds a way to get Thomas out of the apartment. The next day, when Thomas returns, he tells Sebastian that they can play the guitar together and make a song. He also says that Sebastian doesn't need to see before he can become a good singer. He adds that he has a friend who created a band for people with special needs, and he can even get Sebastian to be part of them. This gets Sebastian really angry, and he manages to push Thomas out of the house again. Later that night, when he's having dinner with his parents, Sebastian tells them he doesn't need someone else to help him around. However, his parents insist that they'll get someone to replace Thomas. As they also get frustrated with his frequent mood swings, they ask what he wants from them, and he says they can't give him because he wants his sight back. 
The next day, Goran and Anneli interview a new employee named Mia. She seems to be very friendly and free with Sebastian's parents, but she says she doesn't have experience with blind people. Anneli says she just wants someone who won't irritate Sebastian like Thomas did. Mia says she'll try her best, and Anneli tells her to go and see Sebastian. Mia does as she's told, and after entering Sebastian's apartment, she introduces herself to him. They seem to get along pretty fast, because she knows a lot about watches and has the same music taste as him. The next day, while they're sitting outside the house, Mia talks about her plans to relocate to Los Angeles in the United States. Because he has been to the US before, he tells her about the places he went over there and also how great the country is. Annalie sees them as they're talking, and she likes how lively Sebastian looks around Mia. Days later, while in Sebastian's apartment, Mia comes across one of his songs and realizes that he's a singer. They both sit to listen to the song, and she commends him afterwards, saying he's a really good singer. However, she says he needs to work on his lyrics, and that he should write songs about his feelings, instead of what he's currently doing. Days later, Mia and Sebastian continue to get closer, and one day, while at the park, she leaves him by a bench to get ice cream. However, by the time she returns, she sees him flirting with a lady who doesn't know he's blind. Mia doesn't look so happy with this, but as the lady leaves, she goes back to meet Sebastian. He tells her to describe the lady that just left, and as she asks why appearances are so important to him, he says it really matters to him if someone is ugly. After describing what his dream girl would look like, he tells Mia to describe herself. She says she's not far off from what he described, and he looks happy to hear that, even though Mia knows she's nothing close to the kind of girl he wants. While they're at the bus stop, Mia sees a poster of a talent show and asks Sebastian if he would like to participate. He says he's not interested because he doesn't want people to call him a blind singer. When they get home, she starts helping him to practice his songs and improve his lyrics. Days later, she tells him that she has submitted his demo for the talent show and he could be called soon. He's not so pleased with this, but she tells him to give it a try and see if he makes it past the audition. In the morning, Annalie and Goran bring them the good news that they found a doctor who wants to operate on Sebastian's eyes. They all look happy with this, and shortly after, Mia starts helping him pack the bag he's taking to the hospital. A while later, they arrive at the hospital, and as Mia is standing by Sebastian's bedside, she starts to have doubts about whether he'll like her after the surgery, since she's not his kind of girl. Just as she's about to tell him what to expect when he sees her, a doctor comes in to sedate Sebastian, so she leaves him alone. After a while, Sebastian's surgery turns out successful, and he's able to see again. By the time he wakes up, Mia is not at the hospital, but his parents are there for him. Meanwhile, Mia dresses up nicely to the hospital, but looks nervous as she's about to meet Sebastian. When he finally sees her, he doesn't look impressed with what he sees, and Mia figures it out. She, however, asks how he's doing, and he says he's okay. After he's discharged, Sebastian goes back to his old life and immediately starts clubbing with his friends again. Days later, while taking a walk with Mia, he is approached by two ladies who happen to be his old friends. After speaking to them for a while and telling them he'll see them at a party later that night, he continues his walk with Mia, who looks jealous. She then asks if he wants to have ice cream with her, but he says he doesn't have the time for that. She asks if he has been working on his lyrics, but he also says he hasn't had the time. Since it feels like he's pushing her away, Mia asks if he's doing that because she's not like his dream girl. Sebastian then says he doesn't get why she lied about how she looked. He also says he doesn't hang out with someone like her and that she only took advantage of his condition to get to him. Mia feels insulted by this, and the two of them then head separate ways, as they seem to have had enough of each other. That night, when Sebastian goes to the club, he can't seem to take his mind off what happened between him and Mia. He even hallucinates and sees her dancing in the club, even though she's not there. The next day, Sebastian is with Eric and his other friends, as they're ready to enter the club again. However, Sebastian suddenly asks Eric if he never gets tired of always clubbing. As Eric still tries to understand what's going on with him, he says he's going home and leaves his friends looking surprised. The following day, while in the kitchen with Annalie, Sebastian is asked if he's still in contact with Mia. He answers reluctantly and says they no longer hang out together. However, Annalie says she still sees Mia frequently and that she even sent a letter to him. Annalie shows him where to find it, and as he opens the letter, he sees that it's an invitation from the organizers of the talent show, who now want him to come over for an audition. Even though he didn't initially like the idea, Sebastian decides to go for the audition, so he starts practicing. Days later, he attends the audition and impresses the judges with his talent, 
as well as how he answers a question about why he started singing. After the audition, Sebastian leaves a voice message for Mia and tells her that he has been given a spot on the show. He also adds that he'll be on TV for the opening day, and she can watch him perform there. On the opening day, Sebastian looks nervous before he's called on stage, but when he finally gets to perform, he does well, and the crowd cheers for him. Even though Mia initially doesn't want to watch the show, she eventually can't help but tune in to see Sebastian. She also votes for him when the voting lines are open. Meanwhile, Annalie and Goran also watch their son's performance and vote for him afterwards. The next day, while Sebastian is walking on the streets with Eric, he is approached by some fans who enjoyed his performance on the talent show. He also gets to sign some autographs for his fans. After a few more performances, Sebastian quickly becomes a star on the show. Meanwhile, Mia goes to see her travel agent to finalize her plans to travel to Los Angeles. As she's about to pick a date for her trip, she sees Sebastian walking across the street. This makes her rethink her decision for a while, but she eventually chooses a date. After a while, Sebastian's performance at the show later that night takes a wrong turn when his eyes start to give him problems again. This affects his singing, and everyone notices that something is wrong, but they all think he's having an off day. After the performance, Sebastian goes to meet his doctor to explain what happened, and he is told to be careful because the old problem is slowly coming back. He then meets with his parents to inform them of what the doctor said. He also tells them not to be worried because the doctor said that he and his team would be working hard to find a way to help Sebastian deal with the problem. Days later, Annalie meets with Mia and they get to talk about Sebastian's eyes. Annalie says she thinks Sebastian will be fine and that he doesn't want to announce it until after the show. Just days before the final, Sebastian hangs out with Eric and as they're talking about his next performance, he gets a voice message from a reporter who tells him to make a comment about a rumor that he's partially blind. More messages start coming in and Sebastian is left shocked. He, however, refuses to be bothered by this and days later, as he's preparing for his final performance on the show, he calls Mia. When she answers the phone, he sounds happy to hear her voice and also says sorry for how he spoke to her the last time they saw each other. She asks him about his eyes he tells her he's just waiting for the final to pass before saying anything because he doesn't want it to affect his chances of winning. He then invites her to the final, but she says she's leaving for Los Angeles the day after. He's disappointed to hear this, but thanks her for all she did for him. The time soon reaches for the final of the talent show, and even though he's nervous, Sebastian looks ready. After a while, though, he leaves the venue and heads to Mia's house. She's surprised to see him because the show is about to start, but he says he couldn't let her leave without coming to see her. He then confesses his love for her and says sorry again for how he treated her after he got better. She accepts his apology and hugs him, after which they both head down to the venue of the final. After getting her a seat, Sebastian is then called on stage for his performance. Before he starts, the presenter asks if he wants to address the rumors about his eyes, and he announces that he's partially blind, but he's going to get better soon. He then tells him blindness lies in not recognizing the love and care of those who genuinely care for you. Just then, Sebastian performs a song written by himself about his feelings exactly like Mia advised him, which excites everyone in the audience, including his parents and friends. After he's through, Sebastian looks really happy to see the excitement in the audience, and he also stares at Mia as she looks proud of him. 